Hi, oh, welcome back to Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again. Uh, today we're doubling back and talking about some themes around patient assessment once again. And uh, a, an area of patient assessment that I think is, uh, is often not done particularly well, and that's GCS calculation. So often uh, we have people say uh, on a scene, the patient's about GCS 10 or about GCS 5. Um, really, uh, this is a specific and accurate calculation of the patient's conscious state. So there's no room for that about type phrase. We, we need to do this consistently and accurately every time. And uh, my big tip for making sure that it's accurate every time is to follow the same process every time that you, uh, that you actually calculate a patient's GCS. I go through my eye score, my verbal score, my motor score, in that order, every patient. And after a while, it'll start becoming natural for you uh, to calculate the score. So eyes, verbal, motor, eyes, verbal, motor, every single time. And after that, we can, uh, we can calculate our scores. It's important to realize that it's, um, it's not just about assigning a number to this patient, but it's actually about figuring out what's happening for them. So what their eyes are doing. We're not just, we're not just assigning a one or a two or a three or a four to that. We actually, uh, I think it's actually better to describe it. And then once you've done that process, you can assign the, uh, the appropriate number to the score. So eyes, verbal, motor every time. That's my, that's my first big tip. The second big tip uh, in GCS calculation, I think, is this notion of an appropriate uh, painful stimuli or an appropriate painful stimulus being applied to the patient. Now, of course, uh, the classic painful stimulus is a sternal rub. Um, one thing to remember that about that, obviously, is that it always needs to be appropriate. Or it always needs to be it always needs to align with uh, with your approved training. We never want to hurt the patient. So obviously we want to try and elicit some response uh, due to pain, and that pain's really there just to start cutting away some of those layers of, um, of unconsciousness that the, that the patient's experiencing. So um, an appropriate level of painful stimulus um, gets applied. Now sometimes that may be uh, sustained over a, um, a reasonable period of time, 20 or 30 seconds or longer, um, if the patient's deeply unconscious to try, and, to try and arouse some response. But it doesn't increase the intensity, that's the important thing to remember. The other thing about uh, a, painful, uh, a painful stimulus being applied is um, if, we, if we apply a, a sternal rub, the patient can localise that really well. We can often see uh, a extensional flexion response uh, really well with that painful stimulus. But one little area where it's difficult to, uh, to really see is that withdrawal. Um, so that, uh, that number four in our motor score of our GCS calculation. So if I apply a painful stimulus and I don't get it localised, but I get somewhere between a uh, localised and a extensional flexion response, I always like to then go and apply a peripheral painful, uh, painful stimulus. So that's often a nail bed, a squeeze of the nail bed, and, uh, and then this will, get, this will give the patient the opportunity to actually withdraw that hand from the, uh, from the painful stimulus. So that's a really important tip as well. So they're my two big tips. Always eyes verbal motor, apply an appropriate painful stimulus, and at times that will include a, uh, a peripheral painful stimulus also. So thanks for joining us once again. This has been Paramedic Project, and uh, we'll see you next time.